What's up everybody, this is Danny, and this might be one of the most slept on mobile tech categories that you might not know about. It almost checks off every box that we're looking for in a new tech product. Portability, check. Easy to use, check. Use it with multiple devices that you use every single day, check. And not emptying the bank to carry a 201 inch screen with you anywhere in the world, check. This is the Rayneo Air 2S, and I partnered with them to show you what these are all about and how you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get a great extended reality experience. So I've been using these for the last month and I've been traveling everywhere. And if you look at these, they don't look that much different than a regular pair of glasses. They are a little bit thicker, but in fact, they aren't much bigger than the Meta Smart Glasses that you might be familiar with. And they're definitely way smaller than the Apple Vision Pro, which I'm sure that you heard of. And while they do use different technology and are intended for different uses, what do these actually do and how do they fit into this tech category? So let's make this super simple. This is the easiest way to expand your display with just one USB-C cable. So your smartphone, either iOS or Android, tablets, laptops, just plug it in and it just starts working right away. It mirrors a 201 inch display and it's awesome. These are comfortable to wear because they're very lightweight. They're 78 grams with the nose piece on. And the big reason for this is there's no battery built in. This draws power from the device that's plugged in. So for instance, when it's plugged into a laptop, it can last as long as it needs to. So I like this because you don't have to carry an external battery pack with you. I use this to watch movies on a few flights that I went on last month and it became really handy, especially on domestic flights. The screens are a hit or miss. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't and sometimes they're small, low resolution. So I usually just end up watching content on my smartphone, but this is the way to watch content on a plane. I promise you, it is so immersive and until you try it, you won't know how cool this actually is. I took the train from Orlando to Miami this month and if you're sitting next to someone, they can absolutely see everything that you're doing on the screen. So I wore the glasses for privacy and it worked out perfectly. I was traveling to Miami to go on a cruise and if you haven't been before, depending on the class of your room, the TVs aren't that great. So the Rayneo Air 2S really came in handy, especially when I wanted to watch a movie while everyone was sleeping. It's really hard to explain what the experience is actually like, but I'm gonna try my best. If you look, you can see the Sony low power micro OLED displays. There's one on each side and it looks really crisp. What I also love is that you can change your setting to 120 Hertz, so it looks fluid. So this is awesome for gaming that supports this. And it also makes your phone interface feel native because you're already used to that faster refresh rate, especially if you're using a flagship phone. So what makes the Rayneo Air 2S different from the XR products that I've used in the past? Well, one of the first things that I've noticed right away was how bright the displays are. This has 10 steps of brightness adjustment and at the highest brightness, the adjustment is very bright at 600 nits. So colors are accurate and it makes it easy to see, especially when you are in an environment like a plane where the environment can impact the image quality. But also if you're in a really dark environment, then it can dim very low so it won't hurt your eyes when you're watching, let's say in a bedroom. I do really like that the brightness adjustment is easy to get to on the right side of the glasses with physical buttons. In terms of image quality, there is a little bit of feathering, but these XR glasses are getting so good with clarity that I think you'll definitely be impressed. As things don't look as clear as they should, make sure that you try out the different nose pieces. The way that these sit can make a big difference in image quality. And also try out the adjustments on the glasses themselves. You get a nice level adjustments on both sides. And I have a big head, so trust me when I say that they don't squeeze your face and they're very light, so they're very comfortable to wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Next thing I notice is the audio experience. These have a speaker on the top and bottom on both sides, so the sound is better than I expected with this quad speaker setup. The neat thing about these is that you get stereo sound and they're much louder than you'd expect them to be. And they're also really good with sound leakage. For instance, you can have the audio playing through the glasses without an issue in an environment like a coffee shop and they really can't hear it. But if you're in a quiet environment, you can use whisper mode 2.0. The best way to explain it, it's almost like reverse noise cancellation. I can hear it just fine, but they cannot hear what I'm listening to. And just like the brightness, you can easily adjust volume through the volume rocker on the left side. If you don't wanna go into the settings to turn on and off whisper mode, then just hold down the volume up or the volume down buttons to turn it on or off. I think the biggest thing that stands out to me about these glasses is just how you don't even need an app to use them. 
So if you just plug them into, let's say your laptop, like a MacBook Pro or a Windows laptop, it will just start mirroring the display right away. So iPhones with USB-C ports and Android devices will just work immediately as soon as you plug them in. But the Rayneo does have an XR app that does give you some extra functionality. If you're an owner of an iPhone 15 Pro and above, then you know that your iPhone can shoot spatial video. And guess what? You don't need an expensive Apple Vision Pro to watch them back. Just download the Rayneo XR app and it will automatically detect all of the spatial videos for you. So that is handy. And you can play them back by just turning on the 3D mode by just pushing these buttons here simultaneously. And boom, spatial video playback. I took a ton of these when I was in Tokyo this year and watching these back in spatial video, it's almost like you're there. It's so different. You got to give this a try. There are a few accessories as well that you can get with the Rayneo glasses like the Joy Dock. This has a big battery built in and allows you to connect the Nintendo Switch to it so you can play your Switch on the big screen anywhere. But the one that I've been testing a lot is the Rayneo Pocket TV with Google TV built in. So if you don't want to use your phone and its battery for streaming TV shows and movies, you can do it all on this and it's very portable. And it has all the buttons it needs on the device to navigate Google TV and the interface is snappy with 64 gigabytes of internal storage and three gigabytes of RAM. Also, I'm happy to report there is zero flickering or any kind of performance issues when playing back movies and videos. So that's great. The only downside is you can't download content onto the Pocket TV from streaming services or YouTube, but there is a micro SD card here that supports up to two terabytes so you can put all your movies and shows on there for offline viewing. And this also has a 6,500 milliamp hour battery built in, so you can get up to five hours of playback on a single charge, and you can use this to charge up your other devices that you may have with you, so it's like a portable battery bank. So this is a great everyday carry. So if you want the ultimate travel companion and want a 201 inch portable monitor everywhere that you go, then definitely check out the Rayneo Air 2S. I'll leave a link down below so you can check current pricing. I think they're on sale right now and that's the best time to pick these up. In terms of privacy, these are great because people can see everything that you're doing when you're in a coffee shop, on an airplane, or even commuting on a train. But with these, you can enjoy a giant screen with privacy. So if you're doing top secret work that other people can't see for a certain time or editing that embargoed video for a fresh new tech product, you don't have to worry. And it fits right in your bag, so it's the perfect travel tech everyday carry. These paired with some fire earbuds and you have a portable theater that goes with you everywhere. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.